conveyance for each and every one of them and give them your support when you can. The last two runners now arriving at the post, T. Jazz and George Baker, safely there now with the others. So all at the post now for the Racing Welfare Charity Race. This will be a flag start here, no starting stalls for this particular contest, and the straight mile ahead of each and every one of the nine runners. Perhaps worth respectfully asking you to uh, keep your race cards with you, ladies and gentlemen, if you're touched by the efforts of the riders in terms of their fundraising initiative here. You and I can still contribute to their very worthy causes. Full details of online contributions or contributions made by texting in the race card today, adjacent to the Racing Welfare Charity race card, very early in the, in the race card, if you haven't yet got a copy and you intend to do so later on, seven or eight pages in, you'll find full details. I'm sure anything you can add to their gains already will be much appreciated.
Final few seconds now to pass before we reach one o'clock, which is post time for this racing welfare charity race. Starter on his rostrum now. And they're off. We wish them all the very best over the next uh, a minute and a half or so, over a mile. The Racing Welfare Charity Race is underway. Marvellous miss, just a little bit off a true line in the early stages, but setting a brisk tempo early through the first furlong is Big City Boy and Jasmine Sohantas. Come about three or four lengths clear already from the absent mayor and Harriet Russell uh, racing in second place. Then Classic Calori and Birthday Girl Belinda Keithley back in third place. They're followed by George Baker and Valerie Murphy. Murphy, who's a close fourth. A small gap then to He Jazz, who's in fifth place with Amelia Griffiths. And alongside that one is Dr. Livingston and Adam Curtis. They're next in about sixth place. Then, given the early pace, there's quite an appreciable gap to Marvellous Miss and Paul Jarvis in company with Tinkers Lane and Claire Fogarty. And Liz Hain Bog and Charlotte Springhall is a fair way behind as they pass now the four furlong marker. Still going great guns at the moment. Jasmine Sohanta leading by three or four lengths on Big City Boy. Second place now for George Baker and Valerie Murphy. Classic Calorie and Belinda Keithley now starting to push along in third. Followed then by the absent mayor and Harriet Russell in fourth place. Dr. Livingston trying to make progress under Adam Curtis. He's next and he's followed by He Jazz and Amelia Griffiths. Marvellous Miss and Paul James, uh, Paul Jarvis are a fair way back still. So too Tinkers Lane and Claire Fogarty and Liz Hain Bog and Charlotte Spring Hall. Now they race uphill for the final furlong. We've got a new leader and it's Valerie Murphy and George Baker who's come now so to the front, going on from Big City Boy and Jasmine Sohanta, being challenged for second place now by Classic Glory and Belinda Keithley, who's still staying on. George Baker's clear, though, and this will be a success in the Racing Welfare charity race for Valerie Murphy. Wins by five lengths. Classic Glory was second for birthday girl Belinda Keithley. In third place came Dr. Livingston and Adam Curtis, and cheer home the ones who struggle home a bit. Lysane Bogg and Charlotte Springhall beats Marvellous Miss and Paul Jarvis. Last one home. First, to number four, George Baker. Second, number two. Third, number three. And the fourth horse, number eight. The full result of the Racing Welfare Charity Race. First, number four, George Baker. Second, number two, Classic Colourai. And the third horse, number three, Dr Livingston. And fourth, number eight, the absent mayor. The winning distances were six lengths and two lengths, six lengths and two lengths. The official hand start time for the winning horse, one minute, 43.56 seconds, one minute, 43.56 seconds.